the new Samsung Galaxy S8 is out, but let me tell you why I won't be getting this phone. All right, so yesterday Samsung announced the new Galaxy 8 phone, S8 phone, and it looks pretty awesome at first glance. And I wanted to just take a quick second to talk about why I won't be getting this new Galaxy S phone. Now before you get up in arms, I know that this isn't a tech channel per se, but as a photographer, we use a lot of tech things. In particular, we use our phones quite a bit, especially when we don't have a small camera or DSLR with us, we usually reach for our phone. And that's not just for photographers per se, that's just life these days in, in this new era. So. I wanted to talk about why I won't be getting this new uh, Galaxy S8 phone. First, I want to go back a little bit. About six years ago, you may or may not remember that Samsung and Apple had this huge fallen out, this big lawsuit that came up saying that Samsung had patent infringements against Apple and Samsung was supposed to pay Apple $400 million which the Supreme Court overruled, and this is still uh, apparently an ongoing battle. But ever since then, um, I had bought my first iPhone. Now, there was a couple reasons for it. One, the whole uh, patent thing was kind of weird. And two, I had just gotten into the Apple ecosystem. I had just bought my first MacBook Pro. I was going to school for design and using Mac products. So it just seemed like the smart thing to do was to buy an iPhone. So ever since then, I've been in the iPhone ecosystem. Then Samsung came out with the Galaxy S6, the S7 Edge, which was a phenomenal phone, and then now the Galaxy S8, which looks very similar to the 7 Edge, in my opinion. Um, and it's getting some really great reviews. Uh, another thing was that the Galaxy phones, as we know, were exploding. Samsung is recalling millions of new Galaxy Note 7 smartphones after reports of the electronics catching on fire while charging. And so that was another reason why I wasn't really sure. But Samsung has ensured us that these new phones, the Galaxy S8s, won't be blown up anytime soon. We must be bold enough to step into the unknown and humble enough to learn from our mistakes. We'll see. But with that said, um, there are a lot of things to love about the Galaxy S8 as well as some of the new iPhones. Uh, in my particular instance, um, I'm going to need to pick up a new phone soon because I smashed to pieces my iPhone 6. And so when I started looking at some comparisons, whether I was going to buy you know, another iPhone 6, maybe the iPhone, uh, the i7, um, or wait for this new S8 to come out, and I started weighing all the pros and cons, it started to become more obvious to me. And so I wanted to share with you a few of the things that brought me to my, my result. First of all, the display, right? We take pictures, we look at the display, and the display is kind of showing us what, what, what's going on. And that S8 display is nothing uh, short um, of excellent. It seems like with a 5.8-inch uh, display on the S8 as well as a 6.2-inch display on the 8 Plus, there's a lot of real estate there. And with these new edge-to-edge -edge images or that beveled uh, lack thereof uh, soft edges, they're calling it the Infinity Display, you get these beautiful-looking uh, images. Um, but that wasn't enough to sway me. We also have Gorilla Glass on there, which is pretty exciting because it never fails that these iPhone glasses seem to break, but that wasn't enough. Then I started to look at the camera, and it looks like while iPhone has made great strides in a lot of their cameras and each phone seems to get a little bit better, it still doesn't seem to compare to what the new uh, Galaxy uh, camera phone is doing. But there were some things about the phone that made me 
uh, want to think twice. First of all, I'm not ready to make the change to USB-C yet, and the Galaxy S8 is on USB-C now, so is the iPhone 7. But all of my products, including my 2015 MacBook, are still using a regular USB, uh, not USB-C. So I'm not ready to start investing in that kind of stuff yet. Another uh, big, big thing for me, and the main reason why I find myself not being able to make this switch is the fact that the ecosystem has forced me to kind of stay where I'm at. And what I mean by that is all of these apps that have been invested in and purchased, whether it's for productivity, whether it's for photography, whether it's just for uh, whatever it is, all of these apps and music and such that I've had to pay for over the years, I don't want to have to now go to a new system and have to rebuy all of these apps for. So that right there is probably one of the biggest reasons that I can't make the switch. Tack on maybe, you know, the USB-C thing. Another thing that I did like was Samsung kept the uh, the headphone jack. As we know, iPhone uh, the iPhone 7, they've gotten rid of that. Um, so it's close. It's a close, uh, close thing, but not enough to push me over the edge. So I'm curious, though. I wanted to have this dialogue with you nerds out there to find out what if you're in the same boat that I am whether you are kind of getting stale maybe it's time for a new upgrade on your phone and you've been thinking about making the switch to something like a Google phone or Samsung but you just haven't been able to pull the trigger maybe because you're locked into your ecosystem as well I'd be curious to hear what you guys have in the to say about it in the comments down below and if you guys have any suggestions as to ways that we can um maybe navigate this stuff i would love to hear uh those options there so drop us a comment down below thanks to my favorite youtubers out there i'll leave links to all of the videos down below uh, so you can check out their channels and see what they have to say about the new galaxy s8 thank you so much for watching we'll catch you in the next episode my name is adam I'm out.